Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as China in our Emperor tutorial series focusing on winning a tourism victory. We have now the ability to choose a new civic. We have finished Cold War. I think I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get to social media as fast as possible and then we'll fill back in for cultural heritage because we don't really have the uh, things to take advantage of this. Although we could probably start taking advantage of it now that we're starting to get quite a few things in here. We also have finished the National History Museum here in three turns so we're going to want to park Reina over there. Where do I have Reina currently? Uh, do I not have... I thought I had meant to put her in the capital city. Oh, well. Well, I was going to put her in the capital city, but I forgot that this is actually where I built the uh, the thing. So I'm going to move her over to the... Um, to Chengdu. And then I will put Pingala in my capital. That's a little bit of a misplay there. Not a huge deal. We got another archaeological museum. We could purchase the archaeologist, or we could hard build it. And I think hard building it is just perfectly fine. And this is something we want to get out as soon as possible because it's the source of tourism. Uh, we just finished the Renaissance walls over here in Bordeaux. Now, remember, you can still build them as long as you uh, had them available. I don't think it's worth it to spend 32 turns of production per, uh, building a shopping mall. I think my production would be much better spent on a commercial hub investment here. Um, hopefully we can get that before Poland does. I'd like to get a little bit more production in here. It's not really an option. Let me see here. I could swap this. That would speed it up by a turn. Okay, uh, speeding it up by a turn feels okay. Let's go ahead and get this mine built up for Renz to make the city even better so that it can be somewhat productive and useful. We'll build a mine there. I think we are going to purchase ourselves another builder. Even though we were saving up technically, we were saving up for a, um, a what do you call it, thing. I think I will put a lumber mill there. I think that's worthwhile since this can't be used for anything else. Is this an old growth? This is an old growth, though I might chop this and then put... Uh, so that I can finish the art museum a little bit quicker and then put a forest down. I think that seems reasonable to me. And we are going to continue to siphon funds with 90% success rate. I'm going to find the last. There's probably one or two more cities hidden in the fog here that I just can't quite see. I'd imagine there's one around here maybe. Probably not actually based on the borders that I'm seeing. But you never know. It's still worth exploring, making sure you catch all those little cities. All right, we have a builder over here in Paris. We're going to repair that farm. And we are going to do a commercial investment because again, we want to try and snag this guy. 25% tourism rate is really, really nice considering we're already trading with a lot of civilizations and that's a pretty good source of tourism. So you're going to chop this. That'll give that down to one turn. This builder is potentially going to come down here and build a few lumber mills to give this city a little bit more production so let's head down there and just do this might be a city cram there and in the mountain i can't quite tell we want to explore along the coastline to reveal as much of this as we can and then we're going to go out and break up the sea so that we can maybe trade with these cities from places like beijing and yi yang nice there's a builder standing in my way how wonderful the AI is really, really good at standing in your way, by the way. <clears throat> in case you didn't know that, the AI is incredible. Looks like, did my open borders end with them? No. Uh, we killed a spy trying to steal a great work. We we'll create another great work of riding. We will plant a forest down. Then you've completed your art museum. You could build a factory. I don't think I need you to build a factory. I think I'd much rather if you were to work on something like a builder still a lot of mines here that I want to get online as well and let's have a look at what Paris is working this would make this farm better which could potentially be useful have a slightly better farm in here I do want to put a mine there in fact I'm going to redirect my archaeologist that I had heading up this way oh I already used him damn 
All right, let's go ahead and break up this because this is preventing us from trading internationally with some of these civs out here. I think there might actually be a city in here, or maybe not, depending on the... Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't think so. Kind of looks like there could be something in here, though. Australia had really nice land. There we go. Looks like a lot of the world just got revealed for some reason, but uh, I'm okay with it. I'm not sure what triggered that. Was that... Um, no, it didn't have anything to do with anyone launching anything. I'm not sure what caused that. I'd be very interested to know. If anyone knows what caused all that map getting revealed. Did I get an alliance with someone? With a city-state or something? As far as I can tell, I didn't. Um, so, now that we've revealed all the city-states in the world, I think we're perfectly fine to invest here to get the extra culture. Uh, we're not going to be holding out for any better ones. <clears throat> the National History Museum has been completed here, so we want to immediately start feeding in um, great works of music in here. And we actually want to look and see if we have any cards for producing more tourism, though we don't quite have those yet. We'll get those at Cultural Heritage. Um... Now, we'll get another Archaeo... Well, the city is one of my... Oh, no, it's not actually one of my commercial hub cities. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, I guess an archaeological museum is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. We finished the Renaissance walls over here. Let's go ahead and grab that art museum now. And I think for Rens... Filling in a few more farms in here would not be terrible because it would give the city a little bit more housing. In fact, I'll take these two tiles and then that'll give it another plus one housing, which will give it more food to work. We're going to put a mine right there. We're going to chop this and put some farms in. You're going to go here, get ready for, let's see. I do have some room for great works, which is nice. I do want to be careful though, because some of them aren't as good as others. And I'm also going to be looking for uh, farms along rivers that I might replace into um, lumber mills like here. This could be good lumber mill territory. We'll put a mine down there. I guess you're kind of redundant, so I'll just park you in my territory and put you asleep. Okay, so there's no city in here, but wow, look at that god tier uh, holy site. Eight faith. God damn. That's a lot of faith. Uh, we're not too many turns away from getting our next guy. Here's our next great artist. We're going to recruit that. We completed the spy here. So let's look for another city that we could steal from. We're not stealing from Krakow, and it's producing 700 gold per turn, so this is a good steal location. Uh, my capital, I could build another spy, but I think I would really like to get the commercial hub. Hmm, I can't quite afford to do that here. I do have a campus that's been sitting here literally forever that I need to finish, so I'm going to go ahead and prioritize finishing that for the extra little bit of science. I have a commercial hub I finished in here. That's going to get us that little bit closer we're not far off from being able to purchase this so I do want to make sure I can get that um, or at least I want to make sure that I'm at least competitive towards getting it we'll put a lumber mill there that will give this city a little bit more production you're going to I guess head there do I have a musician sitting around somewhere uh I could have sworn. No, I must have used him. I must not be far off getting another musician, though. Hey, you can see here, quite a quite a, quite quite close to one. Alrighty. I think more farms for this city. A little bit of growth could go a long way in making this city more viable. Um because it needs to catch up to other cities because it's been so it's been housing block for so long. <clears throat> great person. I think I'm going to pass on this great engineer. Let uh Khmer take it. 
and then we'll go for the next one. We'll put this farm here. And we'll put this farm here. Now the city should have plenty of room for growth, so it'll grow in a reasonable amount of time. You're going to sit there. Uh, this is going to become that. That'll finish the commercial hub investment a little bit quicker, which is nice. Uh, you have an 84% chance, chance of success for getting me money. We're going to keep building lumber mills all on these outer ones. We don't want to build it on these two because you can't put national parks on improved tiles. We want to leave those unimproved so we can put a national park there. Let's keep stealing cash. Again, we want to fuel our economy with cash. I will just create a great work of writing. So the thing I want to put in here are great works of music, if I can, because uh, th that's the thing I have the hardest time storing. And it could also be worth it to sell a great work of writing here. But I'm probably going to get a little bit more room. I'm going to put you in auto explore at this point in the game. I'm basically done micromanaging my scouts uh, this deep into the game. And it's really just taking up mental energy to manage this scout. He looks like uh, if Australia attacked me right now, it'd be really scary. It looks like Australia is going to wipe out maybe another save, which would make winning the game that much harder. You can see here, we're starting to get a lot of uh, tourists. They're up to 177. Another commercial hub investment has finished. We're getting very close to being able to purchase that. And I think we do want to keep doing commercial hub investments because that's a really nice boost there. And we will do another commercial hub investment in here. We'll put a farm there. You have another bell charge. Uh, I think it could be worth it to put a mine on that. Although, now that I think about it, Seaside resorts can be placed on these tiles, so I think maybe putting farms here was a mistake. I should have put forests there. Because with the appeal from Eiffel Tower, when we finish in eight turns, and I'm pretty confident that we'll get it, I should be able to put something there. Yeah. I want to make sure to keep 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 all that in mind. Kind of making making little optimization errors isn't a big deal. But it just goes to show, you know. Uh, you can even play imperfectly and still have a pretty reasonable chance of winning the game. And by pretty reasonable, I mean it's almost a certainty once you figure it out. The uh, the ins and outs of it. I don't. Th I think it's very rare for me to lose a deity game these days. A one for one trade with a little bit of extra gold thrown in. I will take that. That seems reasonable. And we're just working away on the game. Six turns until the industrial era. We are going to plug in this card now. I think um, I do want to keep skyscrapers in for a little bit of a little while. I think I'm going to put in Monarchic Legacy. Going to take it out, and I want to put in Democratic Legacy. And I think I'll plug that in instead of Triangular Trade at least for now. That's going to give me a lot of housing and production across my empire. Uh, let's choose our civic now. We want to immediately go to social media. I think we do want to pick up Space Race first for the great works of music. And then we want to go to social media. Uh, all right, theater square. Let's go ahead and get the amphitheater for more room. I have three envoys. It could be worth it to get a little bit of science from these guys. I don't know if it's worth it. Is there a particular suzerainty that I want? Um, I could grab Vilnius. Extra adjacency on my theater squares isn't awful. I'll take it. And you're going to continue there. You're going to build that. You are going to place a farm right there because we just want farms out. Actually, it could be worth it to put lumber mills on this area here. I'm going to place a thing. To remind myself that I want to put lumber mills there. And we'll just put a lumber mill there. A 2-3 tile is pretty reasonable for this city at this stage of the game. Ah, I can't actually place a forest here, which means this... will have to be a forest. I forgot, you can't place it... For some reason, you can't place it next to... Um, lakes you can't place forest next to lakes that's something i've noticed or maybe maybe i'm crazy have i revealed all the strategics i haven't revealed uranium there might be uranium there but i have noticed more often than not you can't place next to lakes 
So I don't want to spend the faith here. Um, faith is way too valuable. I would happily spend the gold for the tourism modifier. Ah, uh, this would be very, very nice if I could get this guy. It's on... Let's see, which one did Australia take? Australia took the Eureka one. So I actually have a decent chance of getting this. If maybe I work a couple of industrial zone projects. We got an art museum in here. That's good. That gives us another spot for the artist when it comes out. And we're getting them pretty quick. 23 points per turn is pretty reasonable. I think I would like a little bit more faith now at this stage of the game. Um, I have a builder. Let's go ahead and start slapping down some more mines. The potential is huge here to get the neighborhood up I'm just gonna slap these Feelings. down so they go somewhere but they will be preferably moved out of there there's another great work we'll go to the next turn we can start looking into maybe trying to theme some of our uh, things soon once you have a few more uh, archaeologists out Steam power. Very good. I think I'm going to spend the money now to get this. And I don't care about this particular one. That's fine. Uh, campus has gone here. We're heading into flight, so it's time to start getting a surplus of builders. Go ahead and create that great work. Okay, I want to start getting international trade routes across the water. And I think the best city to attempt that is in uh, Beijing. So we're going to place in Beijing to start getting internationals for extra tourism. And you are going to keep stealing money from me because you're fueling my economy with that money that you're stealing, which feels pretty damn good. Knowledge of sanitation has increased. We've got an archaeologist over here. Let's have a look and see uh, where the nearest one thingies are. There's a couple up here. I know there's one in Paris I want to grab. So let's go grab that one in Paris and then grab these others. Um, archaeologist has been completed in here. Um, do I want the library? Do I want the barracks? Do I want the monument? Um, looking at this city... Broadway wouldn't be the worst thing I'd ever done. It gives me great works of music slots, which are something you tend to struggle with in the late game. I would really like to get that next spy out. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I could go for the library. At this point in the game, the library would not make a huge difference in the outcome because the amount of science I get is pretty small. I think builders, builders right now, um, are the most impactful thing that I can make. So we're going to spend a bit of time getting builders across my empire. Because they're going to improve things. Now we're going to be generating even more tourism. We're getting uh, plus 50% for trade routes now. And that'll soon go up to 100% once we finish getting social media. Let's go ahead and put the lumber mill down here. It's going to improve this city's level of production. And we will go in here and see if we can trade. Ah, yes. We can indeed trade with Australia. That is great. That's going to give us a nice tourism boost against Australia, who we definitely want to have a tourism boost against because they have so many tourists. So we want to try to cut into this tourist generation that they have. Uh, here, I'm going to... I want to gain sources first so that I have a higher success when I'm actually doing the currency stealing uh, siphon funds mission. Stole 416 gold. Excellent from New York. 
another mine here. Uh, now you have two build charges that you are going to run down here and spend. Let's go ahead and make sure we get these, at least these two tiles. We can place, we can use these last two build charges to get great walls down here. Uh, you are going to take the promotion. Technologist isn't terrible. Uh, if you need to catch back up into the game so it's worth grabbing, although we're kind of on par or ahead. I think I'll grab a Catherine. Let's have a look at my theming potential here. I have a sculpture by Michelangelo. I have a sculpture by Donatello. So we're two out of three on theming here. Then I have potential for two... Oh, I can't actually move these yet. Okay. It's really annoying that you can't move these for 10 turns. It feels like a very long time that you can't move them for. Uh, that does not feel very good to me. I have nowhere to put these great works of uh, writing, but that's okay. Two turns until we get the Eiffel Tower, which is just on time for when we get our hands on Seaside Resorts. Uh, ignore this request. I tend to just ignore the requests because they tend to not have very many consequences. Um, this isn't a very good great merchant. I'm not going to pay attention to it. Uh, the industrial zone is not super worth... There are some great engineers that I still want to get, but do I need more builders? And I kind of do, but I am going to prioritize getting the uh, great engineer points if I can. We have an entertainment district in here. Uh, theater Square. Oh, this is old growth deer, though. It's very hard to justify not chopping that because it's so high value, even though I want to place a district right there. We completed the neighborhood here. We're going to place the thingy right there. Then... I would like to get a theater square right there. We completed the temple right here. Do I want the Gurdwara? I want to get the granary because it's only a one turn build. Uh, I definitely need a theater square. The best place to put it is right here because there's still room for more farms in here. Escape on foot. He escaped with the gold, which is excellent. And then I'm going to have you run up there. You are going to go to Beijing because I want to try to trade with Japan and India as well. I want to make sure I have a unique trade route with every sieve in the game. At least one. You four build charges. Go build those farms there to kind of fill out the empire. You're going to continue to steal gold because gold, st stolen gold is basically fueling my economy right now. And that's how you want to play on Deity when you're going for a tourism game. It's the best way you have of generating gold aside from your gold per turn. It's just really, really valuable to steal as much gold as possible. I ought to be jealous of the tower. So the plus two appeal will actually am. also if apply. You use the airplane the next okay, day. I have flight. I guess I transgressed his thing. Um, now I have the Eiffel Tower. And we're also in a golden age, which is kind of exciting. Um, but as you can see, the appeal of my empire is a lot more green now. Um, at least it should be. Why is this only two? Is this not plus two appeal? Maybe it's not applying yet. It might, might not apply until next turn or something. Um... So we want to take Wish You Were Here, for sure. Governors, uh, cities with governors receive a 50% tourism from World Wonders, and you just get 100% tourism from National Parks. Uh, Heartbeat of Steam is also quite good here, given campus districts adjacency, and so is Reform the Coinage. I actually kind of like going for Reform the Coinage sometimes for the extra gold, but Wish You Were Here is just kind of directly contributing to our win condition, so I think that's a little bit better to go for. We definitely want to get another archaeologist in here. We have room for more great works to be moved out of this high value area. So we're going to move them out. Even though it's really nice to have them in there, we just want them moved out of there. And 
we are not too far away from getting our next great artist. Let's have a peek. Do we have room for more great works of art is the question that I want to ask. Right, so we have one art museum. Are we going to need another is the question. Well, we have plenty of places we can get another. So I'm going to prioritize getting the archaeological museum. Uh, I have the Eiffel Tower in here. That's really, really, really wonderful. I could get Broadway. Broadway is appealing to me. Broadway is really appealing to me. Twenty percent culture. No, I think I have more important things to build, like builders. I should already have a lot of builders in position ready to go, but I don't. Builder. Lots and lots of builders. It's just the priority right now. Oh, didn't mean to select you. We're going to place that Great Wall. That's going to give us a little bit more tourism. A very, very small amount, but it is not uh, completely negligible. We're going to continue to steal gold over here. And now we want to trade with Japan. Japan, so that we can get extra tourism pressure against Japan. That's going to give us another 50% tourism boost against Japan, which just means we're generating more tourist, tourists from them. So now we have 14... Uh, tourists from Teddy. Oh, I might have actually mixed this up. It's not it's not this number that you're big of. It's it's their total tourists. Um their total domestic tourists. I can't remember how it works. Okay. So I guess I was wrong about this. I th I thought this number could never go bigger than this number, but I made a mistake, I guess. And you can see uh John Curtin is increasing the amount of tourists he has basically faster than we can gain tourists but that will change that will change um once we hit two key two key um points of the game um one of them is social media for the 50 percent bonus from trade routes and the other one is from computing which gives us a 100 percent uh tourism boost your embassy is welcome so the last person i need to trade with is india so we definitely want to plug in the extra tourism from great works of music and i think we can lose industrial zone adjacency at this point we can actually lose skyscrapers first and i think i would like more faith so i think i'm going to put in scripture and i'm going to put in logistics to make our builders be able to move around better that's the card i was looking for i couldn't see it um so we can move our builders around because that card applies to builders which is quite funny to me um right so now we need to make sure we have the builders they are indeed here making their way uh, I might get one more in this city. You have six build charges. You head over here. You head over there. Do I want the mine or do I want the Great Wall? I think I'll take the mine here. I think the mine is a perfectly, perfectly reasonable choice at this point in the game. I do again apologize. I still am a little bit husky for being sick. Although I am not H the Usky Husky, because from what I heard on Twitter, that dude is a douchebag. I could be wrong, though. You never know. Twitter fights. Uh, we are going to send this builder over here. Uh, do, 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 do. do I want to build the university? I'm kind of having, having thoughts here, and it hurts to think. I reckon we grab the library in two turns. Um, well, I really would like to get this if I could. Oh, I can get another naturalist. Let's just double check there. I'm going to place this next one. I'm actually going to place this next one over here. Um, because I need to place another forest down here. So I'm not quite ready for that one. 
And in fact, I'll get a builder for that specific purpose. Probably will forget, though, because it's currently Seaside Resort time. Well, in, in three turns it is. But still. And so now, when I look at my... Yeah, there we go. That That's the appeal I was looking for. So now my appeal is much, much better. And this one actually will generate a lot more tourism compared to the uh, National Park up here. Just because the appeal level is so much higher. Uh, down here you can see this is an eight appeal this is a six appeal uh this is a six appeal six appeal so that's 12 uh 18 20 26 multiplied by 100 percent is 32 multiplied by 100 percent is six, so up to 120 base tourism off of this once we have our full combo going with the golden age bonuses and stuff you're just going to hang around on the beach waiting for your opportunity. You're going to excavate that artifact. I'm going to take one from Teddy because I don't think I have a Teddy Roosevelt artifact yet. And then we'll go ahead and pick this one up. Uh, you want open borders. I actually do want mutual open borders with you. I thought I had them. I'll just give you 100 gold because the AI will always accept 100 gold for open borders. Well, open borders with Teddy means I steal more of his wonderful, wonderful tourists. I think it's when this number reaches zero, I can't get any more tourists from him. I think that's the mechanic that I was mixing up there. Um, this actually needs to become a forest because it's worth potentially a decent amount of tourism to convert that. Um, let's go ahead and get the neighborhood up. You wait there. You head there. I have a spy. I have a spy positioned there. I have a spy positioned there. I don't have a spy in Kyoto. Do I need one? I think it was because it was a late game alliance with Japan that revealed the map, by the way. Uh, for those of you who are wondering. I kind of figured it out. I wasn't sure if that was what was doing it. I think I have a spy in Canberra. God, it's so hard to remember all of the cities that you have people in. I, I know I have one over there. Um... There's so many cities. I wish there was a way to like organize by where can you steal the most money? Basically, because that's the only thing I care about. Whatever. Go to Kyoto. Siphon funds. Again, keep stealing money from me. Uh, you're going to run over there. Waiting another two turns for the ability to uh, get seaside resorts. Which is quite exciting to me. We'll get to the seaside resort thing and I'll show you just how much tourism you can get from a single seaside resort before you have all your modifiers online. And then I'll show it to you when you have all your modifiers. I actually don't want this. You want four gold per turn. I'll just give you 100 gold because you'll always accept 100 gold because you're the AI. And for some reason, they'll just always take 100 raw gold for open borders. Ah, we failed to steal, the, steal there, but we were undetected. We got another great musician, which is fantastic because we're currently getting double tourism from those. All right, let's get you in position there. Double check if there's anybody in here that we really want. Not right now. Um, let us get a theater square. Oh, there's a plus two theater square right there. But there's also a plus two one right here. I think I like that one better. You guys are in position. Harvest that. You go there. Place that. Bum -bum. Now, we want to make sure we're trading with India as well. So we'll th throw you over there. I'm going to go ahead and replace that. You're waiting there. You are going to continue to steal gold for me. And we'll go to the next turn. Now we're going to place this one. So you'll see... The the uh, the tourism numbers are all messed up in here, but you can see this is producing one thousand three hundred fifty two compared to this one's. Uh, you can see the lifetime accumulation is only you know five hundred and three. So this one this one should be generating a lot more than this one should be as far as if the mechanic works the way I think it does. Although actually this one has a lot of appeal now, so I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, sh sure, I'll take that deal, whatever. We're starting to run pretty low on money, so that's something to be worth considering. We might want to build a bank or two to try and bring up our income. I always just ignore any time they're like, hey, stop spying on me. 
I think it doesn't matter. So it looks like there was aluminum over here, which is annoying. It's always pretty sad when resources spawn on places you were hoping to do things. Um, well, it does make some pretty nice, a pretty nice industrial zone right there. So now we're going to build a seaside resort. This is a plus four seaside resort. This is a plus five seaside resort. This is a plus five. I want to see if I can, do I have a plus six around somewhere? There we go. So now if we go and have a look at the tourism map mode, right? We look at this one. The plus four one is generating eight tourism. The plus five one is generating 10. The, uh, the plus six one is generating 12. And here's the really, really important thing. Once we get computers, that's going to double all of those. So this eight one is going to become 16. This 10 one is going to become 20. This 12 one is going to become 24. And then most important of all, all of that tourism gets applied individually to every single AI in the game and will then get multiplied by these multipliers in here, which, if you remember, we got the 25% great person that gives us 25% more tourism for people we have trade routes with. And then we're going to have a card that gives another 50%. So that 20, this, this 24 base tourism that we're going to be generating here is going to be multiplied by 100% again once we have a trade route with every civilization. So you can see how 24 tourism very quickly becomes 48 effective tourism against each individual civilization in the game, which you then multiply that number by every civ in the game, and you're generating like 48 times seven tourism per turn, which is insane. It's insane. So I might have to do a video on how the, well, it might be a bit late now that Gathering Storm is coming out, but I was really considering doing a video explaining how the tourism mechanics work from a numerical standpoint, because I think a lot of people kind of understand the general principle of get the tourism yield, but how does the actual numbers play out? Um, so that might have been worth my while doing. But you can see now we're up to 119 tourists and we are starting to generate an awful lot of these little guys in here. But we are going to call that the end of this episode. We're uh, well on our way to success. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. One thing I will want to do is I'll want to backfill and see if I can pick up this card right here. The uh, extra faith from buildings and holy sites just so I can maybe squeeze out an extra naturalist. It's probably not necessary. Might have been something worth doing earlier in the game. Probably is worth generating that much extra faith. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Back. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!